Have you ever wanted to know how to put really pretty flourishes, glyphs, or extras into your fonts at Cricut Design Space? Well, lucky for you, you're in the right place. My name is Alex Vanover with Divine Design Crafts, and I'm going to show you and make it super easy. So I'm going to show you how to add your glyphs using a piece of software called MainType. It's a free software that I will link below. There are lots of software options for managing your characters. I'm going to use MainType because it's my favorite font management software. I think it's really easy to use, and it makes the characters much larger than the built-in character map on most Windows computers. I'm going to pull it up so that I can show you what it looks like to get started. After you download MainType, when you open it each time, it's going to ask you which version you want to use. You, of course, want to use the free version. If you want to know more about the MainType software, there is a PDF manual that you can download and read if you're interested. But I usually close out of this part. So when you open the software, I always sort my fonts by font name, and you're going to scroll down to the font that you want to use. I'm going to be using the font Angelina. It's one of my all-time favorites. I think it's pretty, it's thick enough to cut so that the lines aren't super thin, but it's also a really easy to read script font. So I will link that in the description below. So once you click on the font that you're interested in using, you want to use the drop down menu here on the right, and you want to scroll down to private use area. If your font has any glyphs, this is where you're going to check. If you don't know if your font has glyphs, filter it down to the private use area. And if there's nothing there, then you'll know that your font doesn't have any extras. So as you can see, Android Angelina script has tons of extras, so you're able to scroll through each of these in a much larger size than you would be if you were using the character map. And if you see a letter that you like and you want to see it a little bit bigger, all you have to do is hover your mouse over the character and just do a regular left click and the software makes it much larger for you so you can see what the character looks like. So let's go back to Design Space and I'll show you how to set up your text boxes so that it's really, really easy to insert these into Design Space. You're going to type any text that you want to add glyphs to. So I'm going to use the word welcome. So once you have your word typed out, before we go back to the main type software to get our glyph, I recommend that you add another text box. And you make sure that the text box is set to the font that you're going to be pasting the glyph from. Because if you don't, when you paste the glyph into a text box that is not assigned the correct font, it may show up as just a plain square or as a square with a question mark in it, and you don't want that. So make sure that your text box is in place. Then we're going to go back to the main type software. You want to find the letter that you want to add the glyph to. All you have to do is highlight it with your mouse, and then you can either click Control C to copy, or you can right click and scroll down to copy to clipboard and select copy. Then we're going to go back to design space. All you have to do is either press control V to paste it or right click and and click paste. Then you'll see that you've got your glyph already in design space. So as always with Cricut design space, we're going to select the text we typed and ungroup it. Once your text is ungrouped, you're able to select the letter that you're replacing, simply delete it, and add your new letter with a glyph. It's as simple as that. I'm going to add a glyph to the E also, so I'll show you again how I did that. Before I go back to main type, I'm going to insert another text box, and it's already in the, in the font Angelina. Back in the main type software, I'm going to find the E that I'm looking for, right click and select copy to clipboard back in design space I'm going to right click and select paste and that gives me my last letter so I'm able to select the E remove it and add the E where I'd like it to go next we're going to connect our letters just like we would with any other script font I'm not going to have my letters connect to the letters with glyphs just because I think it looks a little bit funny, but you can put the letters together any way that you choose.
And finally, don't forget to draw a box around your text and select weld before you cut it so that you don't cut individual letters and it all comes out as one clean cut. If one of your letters fills in the way that my O just did, that's a very simple fix. All you have to do is select the, let the word, select undo, and simply move your letters a little farther apart so that the other letters aren't overlapping as much with the O. One tip to making sure that your script fonts look really pretty before they're welded is to select the whole thing and make it much larger than what you're going to cut it. That way you're able to see if any of your letters don't match up correctly or if they are too far inside each other so that they're going to fill in when you weld them. I like the way that looks, so I'm going to select weld. And that's it. It's that simple. One hack that everybody needs to know who's using glyphs is that you don't have to use glyphs from the same font that you're typing in. One of my favorite fonts is called Lovely Letters, which is what you see on the second welcome text. But, well, but Lovely Letters doesn't have any glyphs that go with it. So you would think that I wouldn't be able to add anything to the word, but I can show you in main type what you can use to make it super pretty. Oftentimes, fonts that you find free on the internet don't have glyphs included with them. So this is a great tip for those of you who download free fonts. In order to find those glyphs, simply go back to main type and find a font that does have glyphs. So I know that Lovely Letters doesn't have any glyphs, so I'm going to scroll down to find the I Love Glitter font that everybody loves to download from Defont. I'll be sure to link that below as well as Lovely Letters. But everybody knows that I Love Glitter has beautiful glyphs that go with it even though it is a free font. Once you get to your font, you select it and then make sure that it is selected on the private use area. Some of these glyphs that are attached to a letter wouldn't look right on a different font other than I Love Glitter. So I'm going to scroll down and find some of the more general glyphs that I Love Glitter offers. Here are a few examples of some general glyphs that you could use with any font that doesn't have to match I Love Glitter. These really cute swirls with hearts and things like that don't have to be attached to the same font. So I'm going to select this heart and I'm going to right click and copy it over. Once I'm back in Design Space, I'm going to create a text box and select the I Love Glitter font. Then once you have your cursor back in your text box, you can right click and paste your character back into Design Space. And just like any of the other letters, I can attach it to my W. I'm going to go back to main type and grab the heart that matches the other side. Now that I have the other heart, I'm going to paste it into another text box and attach it to the E on the other end. So once you have the glyphs in the place that you want them, I would highly encourage you to highlight the whole word and make it larger to double check all of your connections. And once you're happy with it, select Weld. I love the look of these fancier, more classy fonts with glyphs or extras added to them. And I hope that you do too. Tell me in the comments what your favorite font with glyphs and extras is because everybody is always looking for great font recommendations. So I would love to hear what your favorite font is to get glyphs, flourishes, or extras. I really enjoyed hanging out with you guys and showing you how to use glyphs and Cricut Design Space. And if you want to hang out more often too, please click the subscribe button below and hit the bell. My name's Alex Vandover with Divine Design Crafts. Thanks so much for hanging out on my channel and I hope that we get to craft again soon.